live. This is just a casual hangout, some little Q&A, like I try to do pretty often. And because a lot of people have been in asking questions about where smoke, are you all still together? What's the next steps for you all? I thought I'd bring in an expert on the topic, smoke himself. So what's been happening lately is that luckily he grew up only about an hour away from me and so I've just been coming to visit him every once in a while, every week pretty much. We are looking for a place together to live, but that is very hard, very complicated and we haven't, just everywhere is just like too expensive, like we have to sign a 12 month lease and we're, both of us are like wanting to not stay there that long like we still want to keep um traveling the world i don't see any um chats coming in oh good here we go hey jay hello our jim thorpe from roxylvania yup that was a tough part of the trail it was yeah it was it was very very rocky and it seemed like all of the locals would be like, enjoy our rock. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a cozy Saturday, not really morning anymore for us. Yeah. Hello from West Virginia. Hey, Mary and Celeste. Yeah, base camp. LA, LMAO smoke looking. <laughs> I just <laughs> got dead head. Yep. Loving it. Like, we it's we feel like it's the morning for us, but it's I guess it is the middle of the day. David, hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Smoke looking smoky as ever. <laughs> I love that comment. Yep. I've walked in many times. Oh, yeah, in Roxylvania. Mm -hmm. Rough. Rough, rough. Hey, Prez Head. And where would the ne next venture take you guys? Oh, that is undetermined yet. Um, I definitely want to do the PCT at some point. I want to do the Camino de Santiago at some yep, point. Very soon. Um, but I do have a converted minivan that I need to enjoy while I have it. Mm -hmm. But it's only built for one. Oh, what? What are we gonna do? I We're don't know. Stay tuned. May I think we should both have our own little rig to hang yeah. out in. But then, what if one breaks down? If one breaks down, then the other person helps the other person get Thanks. to get it. The yeah. Gotcha. We'd be. Um, I think it'd be really handy. Then we See. could take turns driving, though, if we have one van, and we can go even further. Whereas Maybe. if we're both driving, we can only do, like, eight, ten hours. Maybe uh, twelve. How far can you drive? I What's don't know. What's the furthest distance you've furthest ever Furthest I've ever driven? I don't know. Twelve hours, maybe? Okay. Maybe more like eight. I don't know. That's pretty impressive. Especially driving. Mm-hmm. Um... CRM says happy for you too. The creation of a couple with full potential. Oh, thank Aww. you. That's so sweet. Royal Super Tramp says PA. Oh, you're there from there too. Very cool. Thanks for coming to hang out. Jay says when I was younger, I couldn't afford anything with the Renaissance Fair folks and travel. Maybe there's some. Oh, that'd be, that'd cool. be cool. Yeah. We would love that. But yeah, I'm still working on what our next mm -hmm. adventure is. Do you want to tell the story of why you carried the kettle? Yeah. That's a common question I get. So I was going up Blood Mountain, and there was this Make guy. Sure you talk about there was this guy that had stopped me, and I was carrying a lot of just additional weight, extra weight. Because this is the very beginning of the trail. And he stopped me, and he said, you're carrying way too much weight. You're not going to make it to Katahdin carrying all that weight. And I had the kettle hanging off the back of my backpack. And he pointed at the kettle and he said, That kettle 
is not going to make it to Katara. So I turned around and looked at him and I said, I'll do everything in my power to make sure that this kettle makes it to Katahdin. And sure enough, it did. Were you afraid of skinwalkers and such on trail? Were there any rumors of them? Not really. There was more of like Sasquatch rumors. But oh, I don't even know about Sasquatch rumors. There was just uh, locals talking about them when you go into a town, especially around... Uh, Damascus, Virginia, there was a lot, but as far as skinwalkers, no, I saw numerous bears, and they were, like, actually bears, they weren't something <laughs> trapped in somebody else's body, from what I could tell, um, there were some pretty aggressive squirrels, that squirrel we saw at the end, oh, like, the, in the fall, attack. the squirrels, yeah. like, just chirp at you. Yeah, I think the they're acting weeks, territorial or something. It was like on site. The moment they saw <laughs> you, it was like they wanted to fight you. So that might have been some skinwalkers because they seemed extra, extra aggression. Sabrina says it's nice to see you two together. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I know in Pennsylvania there's a lot of veterans that live in the woods nearby the AT. Is yeah, that right? I believe that squirrels yeah squirrels were pretty were they pretty. were very excitable yeah very loud and i think it's just a different breed of squirrels they're more territorial like could the be squirrels we have here they're just like whatever i'm going tree to tree yeah but they also just live in like cities and parks here you know yeah. you know what was cute what watching like two squirrels chase after each other mm -hmm. that was always really fun because they would like do the same path it was like parkour but they were like, <laughs> they were, parkour like following for squirrels them. yeah they were following in the same path that was really cool Aww. so what's everybody up to today what are you all doing we're actually going to go see a play at a local high school later so that's going to be fun catch the matinee Looking forward to that little outing. Michaela, Michaela says, can you say hi, Tabor? Ah, uh, hi, Tabor. Hi, Thank Tabor. you for watching. Pacemaker and Button says they're just getting up. Yeah, same. That's same. Kind of what we're doing. Uh, tired Saturday morning. Sleepy Saturday. She said, getting ready for Thanksgiving. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Um, uh, what food are you most excited for? Me, mac and cheese, always. Okay. What about you? I really like turkey or pecan pie. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Patty's looking forward to Thanksgiving, too. Love it. Even if you're like, ah, that's Aww. great. Great spirit. Celeste is doing a late breakfast and housework. Classic. Classic Saturday. Oh, Michaela says he waved so. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. That's, that's so wonderful. Cute. Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate that. Speaking of Thanksgiving, though, Smoke is going to meet my family besides my parents for the first time. My, some of my extended family members, my brother is going to be there. So, exciting stuff in the young stages of a relationship. Yep. Looks like Gina D's having a lazy morning. Very cool. Oh, good. Glad you found us. Um, pacemaker and Buttons juicy turkey sandwich. Mm. Busy morning making breads. Herb oh. grated loaf, sourdough loaf, and sourdough rolls. Ooh, that looks so. It sounds yeah, it so sounds good. Sounds amazing. Are you gonna wear a tie, Smoke? I don't know. I don't own a tie, so I don't know if I'd have to buy a tie. Mm-hmm. But I think just the classic button-up shirt yeah. and, like, a nice pair of pants. The usual vibe of our Thanksgiving isn't super, like, fancy, but just a little nice, smart, casual. But I do look pretty good dressed up. I clean up well. <laughs> Is that right? I don't think I've ever seen you dressed up before. Mm. Gonna make deviled eggs with horseradish. What's your opinion on deviled eggs? I no, really I like don't. them. I'm a picky eater. I don't I'm like deviled eggs. Really? Yeah. I, wait, is it just like certain types of deviled eggs, or is it just no. every single? Oh, there's Not some good deviled me. eggs out there. Okay, 
Maybe yeah. I'll try someday. Is a haircut in your future? No, nope, I not hope at not. All. I love his long I hair. I love it. I think he looks cool. I want my cool. hair to be longer than yours. <laughs> wow, that's long. That's pretty long. Oh, yes, I've been fe- learning how to make Japanese milk bread. Japanese oh, milk that bread. sounds delicious. You're going to have to send us a picture of that. I really uh-huh. want to see it. Cool. Um, Sabrina says, wow, that's so exciting. Have fun and enjoy yourselves. Aw, happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Meeting the fam. So exciting. I finally caught a live. I'm proud of you both. Aw, thank you. I definitely will be myself at Thanksgiving. No other way to be. I won't be Smoke Master on the AT. I'll be Gabriel. Aww. What's the difference? I don't even know the difference, but there's a difference. Nice. Just a different vibe, huh? I think Smoke Master's more open. Yeah. Um, Because on the trail, people just come out of their shell a little more. Yeah, it's different. Celeste says, more for the rest of us. Oh, coming to, um... What are your favorite Thanksgiving treats? Mac and cheese is my fave. And... For treat? Rolls. Uh, I don't know. What would you consider a treat? Pumpkin pie, maybe. Pumpkin pie, pecan pie. Like, the little sweets that, like... Oh, you know, yeah. And, like, they have some Thanksgiving's mm-hmm. have two tables that have, like, all the food uh, and then all the sweets. Like, what's your opinion on, like cranberry uh what is that sweet that they make out of cranberries no no idea i don't know what you mean oh i like cranberry sauce that comes out of a can yeah i've never tried it it doesn't look too good uh sabrina says your thanksgiving is past very cool oh and pacemaker and bun says missed you coming through arkansas car camping i went through arkansas when I was living in my van. I don't remember. Oh, that was when I did that really cool hike where I was like using a rope to climb up a rock. Oh, that was so cool. That was a great place. That was called Eye of the Needle Trail in Buffalo National River. And then he says, best way to find out if you really like someone is to go camping with them for three months. Oh true. yeah. Facts, Lenny. Very true. We went through a lot together. I will not take the kettle on future hikes. <laughs> I will though. I- I think the kettle was a really good idea, and I would like to develop something to where people in other through hikes can, because, I'm sorry, I'm like branching around here, but there was definitely multiple things to the kettle that made it different and special for other occasions. Like, I could do things other people couldn't. Like, I'm, I could, do you remember the name of what it was called when I made blueberry muffins? Mm-mm. Essentially, no it's like stufe or souve. I could souve, which is where you essentially take like a plastic bag and you boil water and you put the plastic bag in the water and you cook. Like you can cook eggs or you can make muffins. And I made uh, blueberry muffins by doing that with the kettle. I boiled water and then I held a plastic bag over top of it and put blueberry muffins in the plastic bag and cook the blueberry muffins from the kettle. So there's definitely a lot of uses that you get just from just carrying around a kettle. And I wanna make something to where it's like, you could boil water in it, you could also cook from the bottom, but it has a spatula inside of it. And I also wanna make it out of like a, a Dutch oven. Like I want like three things in one. You could boil water in it, you could flip like eggs or pancakes off of it, or you on the bottom there's an actual Dutch oven, and I want to make that, and then I want to essentially patent that and then sell that, and then have everyone in the world with their own little kettle. He has big dreams, folks. I do. He's got plans. I do. Looking forward to Smoke Master's channel. Oh yeah. He is planning to film his second video soon. Have you decided what food? I have not decided what food. I was contemplating breakfast for the longest time, Mm -hmm. but then um, I think I'm just gonna do something more like barbarian-ish is what I'm thinking. More of like meat on a stick. Oh, um. Thank you. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but glad you caught us, too. 
Um, happy Thanksgiving to you. Jay says, working on a cruise ship. That's an interesting idea, because that way we wouldn't have to find a place to live. We'd be together all the time. On a cruise ship, that'd be cool. Do you get seasick easily? Mm-mm. I don't either. I would just have to make time to make videos every week, but that could be cool. Yeah. Oh, good idea, Jay. Thank you. Yeah, we'll look into you. that. Uh, Marcy likes mac and cheese, too. Nice. Pies. Heck, yeah. Cranberry salad is pretty good. All the pies and whipped cream. Cranberry salad. Patty says, I think it's fantastic you two met on the trail. You seem to have the meeting minds of both. Aw, thank you. Aww, Suve, thank you friends. very much for that. Legend of Arson. <laughs> That's what I was thinking for so long. I could not think of the name. Yeah, you could Suve in a kettle. In a kettle. If you wanted to. Make a tip video. Like a hiking and um, just AT in general tips. Yeah, definitely. That's I guess... I definitely believe that, Jay. There's somebody in band life that compresses food and boils water. That'd be a good idea. I'm sorry for you. No, that's okay. I forgot what I was saying anyway. Great invention. Heck yeah. That sous vide cooked meal. Oh, okay. So maybe two names. We're going to try to. We're definitely we're definitely going to try to and see how that works out. Yeah. It's hard starting off, though. Um, just because, like, vans are a lot of money. Conversions are a lot of money. So, it's gonna, we're gonna have to save some, but... Hike it again. Research the <laughs> The whole AT? You want me to hike the AT? Do I do it without a phone or map again? <laughs> That'd be really hard. My knees are not up for that yeah. yet. We'd go 100 miles and be like, let's go back. Um, hello from Gulf, Gulf Breeze, Florida. Glad to see you two together. I got used to seeing you and then I binged your videos. Aw, thank you. That's it's so kind of you. On Instagram? Smoke's channel is called Campfire Cook. Is this on Instagram? This is on YouTube. Okay. I'll just join and then I'll leave the... Oh, drop a link? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And hello to you too, Mudflap. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Anybody traveling anywhere for Thanksgiving? That's going to be exciting. Um, we're not going anywhere except smoke is going the hour to where I live. So that's something. Jay says, I'm curious if people can hike across America. I know when I was 20, I got halfway. <gasps> That's so cool. We actually have a friend that not a through, not a through hiker from this year, but he hiked last year and then he worked at hostels along the way. So we got to see him a lot. Um, and he is walking across America right now. And that is, yeah, seems like quite the challenge. Um, yeah, that would definitely be cool. I know there's something called the American Discovery Trail that goes from ocean to ocean, and that sounds insane. Yeah, that one seems really cool. Hi from Oklahoma. Oh, good. Van Life are here. Awesome. Hello. Glad you all are here. Hello from Salisbury, MD. We love Maryland. It's a nice place. I miss y'all's videos. We look forward to watching you guys hike. We're starting. Oh, that's so cool. Congrats. That's going to be very um, cold, but I'm sure it'll be an awesome experience. Katrina said, oh, lovely Maddie with Mr. Soft Eyes. He does have soft eyes. I hope you're well and are, have exciting plans. Oh, all the way from Sweden. That's wow, great. Thank you. Jennifer says, I think van life would be awesome for y'all. Yeah. I think it would. We could go live way more. Um, we were watching a video last night. Smoke here likes to play video games. And I was like, how is that going to be possible in a van? But we were watching someone with a full gaming setup in their van last night. So maybe traveling to Florida, taking the van down, I'm using. Oh, yeah. That's what I used a lot when I lived in my van, Planet Fitness. And then now that I'm... I was stationary a bit before the AT because I was like, I just need to rest up and get in the zone. That is where I got a membership um, for a gym to 
get fit for the AT was Planet Fitness because I had been there so many times all across the country. I was like, you know what? Usually the employees are pretty nice. It seems like a, um, a good organization. Let's give them some money for, you know, having my back all those times I needed a shower. Not too many Planet Fitnesses on trail, though. Imagine on a trail, trail where there's just a whole bunch of Planet Fitnesses. You would just shower. Wow. You wouldn't have to go to a hostel. That would be a game changer. What if their Planet Fitnesses were like Subway? <laughs> you know? Like Subway, it's yeah, they're everywhere. Just, they're just everywhere. You could just go in there because you're a member, take a shower, you get free soap. What else? You could resupply on drinks. Mm hmm. You get saunas and baths. That'd be awesome. Steam room. Mm hmm. Very cool. Jay says, Yep, yeah, been doing this for years. Oh, that's great. Nice. Good to hear. There's a rule as long as you can swipe your membership, you have 24-hour access. Oh, oh wow. that's pretty sweet. Very cool. Jay, what percentage of times are there like saunas or steam rooms when you go into a majority of these Planet Fitnesses? Would you say 50% of the time? Do you all have any suggestions to change the subject? Do you all have any suggestions for what you would like to see us do next? Because I'm just like, there, the possibilities are endless. Um, would you both hike the El Camino in Spain? Are you down? Yeah, I'm down. Sweet. Let me get my, let me learn Spanish a little bit more and I'd be down. We need a lot more chorizo. We uh, had chorizo this morning. Yeah. Loved it. Although I think that's Mexican food, not necessarily Spanish. Yeah, but I think they eat chorizo in Spain. Yeah. They would have to. Probs. Would you, um, we already read that. Triple crown um, for you sure. You have to go for off sure. hours. Very cool. Yeah, triple crown. We both definitely want to do that. Um, but... I, at first I was leaning towards doing the CDT first because I'm more excited about the PCT because it seems like there would be more people on it and just more of a social experience. But now we're leaning more towards doing the PCT before the CDT, just, you know, for fun. Um, and that way, like, the as the years go by, there's only going to be more and more information about the CDT, you know. It's kind of... Um, the one of the three trail I feel like has the less information about it. So let's go to Canada. Go to Canada. Okay. I was actually just up there in January. I went to Banff. Um, what did you call me? <laughs> skiing was a little too expensive for me, but I just walked. I did a bunch of hikes in the snow. It was so cool. I did a whole series on that actually, if you all want to watch. YMCA helps the community. Nice. Does the YMCA, I feel like you would have to pay every time to go in there, though. But that would be awesome. Yep. There weren't many YMCAs where I grew up, so I'm not sure to um, how they work. Have you ever been to a job where they make you stretch before you start your shift? No. I feel like the YMCA does that, but they make you sing out their song. Oh, no. Going to the YMCA. <laughs> I would hate that. The YMCA. They're like, all right, Me come too. on. <laughs> we get it, it already. Oh, hi, Miss Sunshine. Thanks for coming to the chat. Uh, Jay says, Spanish, all you need to know is S-O-C-K-S. S-O-C-K-S. Hi, Miss Sunshine. It translates to that's what it is. That's what it is. Cool. Um, Karen says you should do the Arizona Trail. Yeah, I definitely want I'm to. I've never um, been on a trail where water is that scarce. The most scarce one I've done is the Tahoe Rim Trail, and that wasn't really that bad even. So that would definitely be a challenge. Do you know if the Arizona Trail goes through or around Camelback Mountain? Because I hiked that, and that was, like, really hard. That was one of the hardest mountains. I wish Camelback Mountain was on the AT, because it was, like, wow. really, really hard. 
I remember stopping halfway up Camelback Mountain and eating a packet of tuna and thinking, like, <laughs> I think I'm going to die. This is the hardest hike. I think I'm going to die. This is so hard. It was so difficult. Alrighty. Ontario is beautiful, too. I'll remember that for next time. You know how you did you did a little map of where you traveled every place mm -hmm. in the United States? You should... That's like... You did it Sobo, right? Because you went over... Are you talking about when I drove around the U.S.? Yeah. Um, I went all directions. It was kind of like a star. But you started, like, over here, right? And then you went yeah. up over, all the way over, <laughs> and over, and you made your way over here, right? You should do it no book. Wow. Well, Backwards you should do the order. same route that you did. That <laughs> you did way over here, but start over here. Start where you ended and retrace your route. And you'd be the first person Crazy. to do it. Novo and so uh, all 50 states in a van. What's in up? In a van. Drop mic. <laughs> van life across the U.S. on Route 66 and then finish with a PCT. Ooh, that'd, be cool. that'd be cool. Hey, Cheryl. Thank you for being here. Lucy King says, hi, Maddie and Smoke. Man, greetings from England. Oh, cool. After all your walking, I think you should try a bike adventure. Interesting. Rag bra. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what though, I just went bike riding a few days ago and like it hurts your booty to sit on that seat for so long. Yeah, true. I was like uh, it, we were just out for the day. I was like I don't know how people take trips like this. Rag, oh, it looks like Celeste has done it. Um, yeah, what's is that in Iowa? Yeah, it sounds like a really cool event though. Maybe not a whole trip, but I think Rag Bra is just a f few days, so maybe, yeah, that would be awesome. Patty says, My previous remark was hope to see you on trail, don't get to trail myself. No, I did. F Oh, thank you very much, Patty. We appreciate that. How do you fund your travels? Um, I just, what I've been doing is living significantly below my means, like living in a van, um, not really ever having a place of my own until now, hopefully, if we find something, but just saving money all the time. That's what I try to do try to not like go out to eat a lot all that well I guess that's kind of like very basic stuff that wouldn't really add up but um I think only not having a car until I got my van really helped save money so just cutting out major expenses of my life and living with significantly less it's not for everyone that's for sure it's super inconvenient but it's what I gotta do Thank you, Florida Sun. You have a great day, too. And let's see. You know, I want to travel across the country with trains. That'd be cool. When I was going to Cal or not California, Canada, I was trying to do a really long train route across the bottom. Uh, not the bottom, but the, like, southernmost part of their country. And I think it was called, like, the Canada Express or something. And that looked awesome. But it was out of my budget. Uh, hello, Bus Bosh. Boss. Padded bike shorts. Oh, butt butter and lots of training. Nice. Cool. You guys cute together. Thank you. Jay said, have a good day, guys. Got to start my chores. Oh, alrighty, Jay. You have a good day, too. We probably got to get off here in a minute anyway. Um. All right, Carpe Diem. Heck yeah. Jennifer says, glad to see you in both in the video. I remember the first Ten of Hearts appearing during your lunch breaks. Aw. Uh, smoke is from Southern Indiana. I'm sorry, I shouldn't let you answer that. You're fine. Right. Hello, hello, hello. This is Gary. Really nice to watch your videos when you're hiking or you're recovering and relaxing. Thank you. Appreciate that. Jay says, a thousand blessings. Same to you, man. The money shot says, are you close in ages to each other? Really enjoyed your AT hike. Yep, we are um, pretty close in age, but it, and it also helps that we're both, um, I don't know, I feel like we both have a young spirit about both of us. Very um, free-spirited and happy and 
you know, all that. And please stay in touch on here. It will be great to see you guys from time to time. Thank you. We will. We definitely will. All right, guys. I think, like I said a second ago, we should go ahead and get off of here so we can get some other stuff done today. But thank you all so much for being here and chatting. Any last-minute questions or anything before we go? This is an unflattering angle, babe. We got it. Is we gotta fix this. We gotta sit up better next time. All right, bye, you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for being here.